Welcome back to the channel, everyone. My name is Dar Sloan, your official partner content creator for Expansive Worlds. And recently we started a new account so that I could go back and get 1,000 rip and record all of it to make guides for you guys. So what I'm gonna do is break that down into four videos. So today's video is gonna be featuring Diamond's Peak. And that's gonna have all of the map challenges, all the photo challenges all of the fishing challenges. So each region has a total of 210 reputation that you can get by doing all three of those different types of challenges. There are two fishing challenges, uh, fishing challenge one, fishing challenge two, and they go bronze, silver, gold. And then on the map challenges, you'll have you know, three map challenges, map challenge one, two, and three, photo challenge one, two, and three. You go through that for all four sections of the map and this one is going to focus diamonds peak and so at the end of this video if you follow it if you're just starting out this will get you 210 rip unless you've already got some of it done uh, times four equals 840 so the other 160 rip guys comes from the warden so those are the warden's favors, 150 of it is, and 10 of it is the uh, golden tour or the tutorial or something. Uh, but it's something you got to do. Um, I'm pretty sure it's all from the warden. Anyway, guys, I'm out here doing the hard work for you guys. If you would, please hit that like, subscribe, notify bell. We just surpassed 4,000 subscribers on YouTube, and we're doing a celebration stream for that. And next up is 5,000. When we get to 5,000 subscribers, I'm gonna be doing a 12 hour stream. And whenever I do these celebration streams, I usually do giveaways as well, whether it be merch or DLCs. So we're gonna be doing that. But my ultimate goal is to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So here in 2024, by December 31st, I wanna be at 10,000 subscribers. I think we can do it, especially with your all's help. If you guys can recognize the work I'm putting in, please tell a friend if you know that they need to rep and tell them, you know, don't just watch his videos. Make sure to hit that like, notify bell, and subscribe, please. That goes a long way, guys. Thank you so much. And I'm going to drop the footage in. And it's a lot, you know, so hang with it. Go through it. If you've got it, go on to the next section. But everything's in here for Diamond's Peak. All three types of missions, guys. So... Here we go. All right, guys, we are at location and we are to catch a crappie, just a black crappie. Uh, I'm gonna use a minnow. I just have to catch a bronze, all I have to do. So we've got, you know, if we were to catch a good one, that could give us a good fight right there. So I'm gonna switch over to this one and I'm just gonna use number three, gonna use the old uh, Tyro, the old butt wheat. See if we can't catch us a black crappie here. I'm, I'm on location. This is exactly where I'm supposed to be. All right, guys, it looks like we've got ourselves a black crappie to finally come over and bite. And I just threw it in there. Ten minnow. So there's going to be our bronze black crappie mission right out of the way. Diamond's Peak. Fishing challenge one, bronze challenge done. Okay, there's five rep for that little bronze mission. There is a new challenge mission available at the Diamond's Peak Outpost. So each time you complete it, guys, you gotta go back. Now this will probably be the silver. Let's go see what it says. Gotta go back each time you complete one. Now start silver fishing challenge. Let's see what it tells us to do. The Diamond's Peak Fishing Channel Silver 1. Catch a silver rank sturgeon. Now that is supposed to happen at night. All right, guys, we're going back after the silver sturgeon. We tried to catch it during the daytime. Didn't work out too good for us. So it's going to come over here. Number five, bottom feeder, red worm. That is their preferred, and they are bottom feeders, so we're just gonna drop it in right here. Cast out there, let it set, see what happens. We need silver sturgeon. Yeah, about here. What in the world? 
We used eggs. I don't know what would have bit this. That would be this big. Catfish won't bite eggs. River potatoes won't bite eggs. So what in the world? And it nibbled. Yep, nope, we'll return. It's going to be a fight. Okay, this actually is a shovel nose. Who knows how big it is? You know what? I can probably get bigger line and probably just forgot to do it because that, that's 4.85 pounds and 4.41 is my line. That, that sucker fought hard. I used eggs. Number six, eggs. I had to switch because catfish were taking the red worm and snapping me off. So, uh, yeah, probably a lot easier to do that mission if you go get bigger line. I think I've got eight pound line or something that would have been fine. We just got 10 rep for that. No, I got I got all my diamonds on uh, Golden Ridge. Uh-oh. Yeah, I heard you went on a crazy streak there. I did, man. I had a good day. Like, I, I sat down and told my wife, I said, okay, I'm going to just take a break from all this content creation and I'm going to go in there and just target fish. Just just target fish I don't have diamonds of and that's what I'm doing. And I caught a diamond, let's see, what all did I catch? Diamond sturgeon, diamond green sunfish, diamond black crappie, diamond walleye. Walleye? Yeah. yeah that was one of the ones you didn't have, yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's a streak. Now, three of those were caught on one day. Man. And those aren't the easy ones to get either. So, no. yeah. I was going to say, but I was going to say, see what happens when you actually get a chance to focus on just fishing yes. for a little bit. Yes, it felt great, <laughs> man, because I just sat down at my places and just spent a couple hours, two or three hours just fishing, you know, just targeting that fish. Now, I had been off and on. I tell you, I'm starting to wonder about how the spawning works on this. There's a nice goad. Catfish. Yeah, that's tough. Because it's like I've kind of had instances in my head that I can think of where it would, would have kind of worked both ways. Like I wasn't catching anything, so I left and came back and started catching stuff. But I've also had it where like I was catching small ones, left and came back, and then caught nothing. <laughs> All right, guys. I didn't realize this was going to happen in the making of this video but it did so what happened was we got credit for the smallmouth the bronze rank smallmouth um up here at this bridge now it told us to catch it it was somewhere over through here it told us to catch it and we're in the journal and i said well maybe because i hadn't done Taylor's tackle, you know, all of it. And it was wanting me, I had to pick a mission up at the challenge board for Taylor's Tackle Academy, wanting me to equip a float fishing rig and then go out and catch a fish on a tin hook. Uh, anyway, when we did that standing here on this bridge, it gave me credit for the smallmouth bass mission that puts the marker on the map over here. So. I never could get a smallmouth to bite over there. I wonder if it just has something to do with this Taylor's Tackle Academy. So if you're having trouble catching that bronze smallmouth, just skip it. And if you've not done Taylor's Tackle Academy, come over here to the bridge. I put a 10 minnow on and I caught it and it gave me credit for it. So there's that. All right, guys, looks like we have finally landed our bear bot. We had to wait a minute on this dude. I see why people struggle with it. They probably run out of patience. I just sit here and start playing Clash of Clans on my phone. All right. I'll tell you another little trick too. I'm glad I got that out of the way. It was breaking daylight as you see. Another little trick too is, uh, well, it's hard to get right on the marker, which was right here. So you need to put a waypoint down because it disappears when you get real close, or when you get like two, 200 meters from it or something, and it's hard to get right on it where it wants you to be. So put a marker down 
a waypoint beside it because it won't disappear and that's what i did and i parked right there and i just threw it out there and just sit here and waited probably about five minutes this time all right guys we've got a little bit of daylight left 337 at night to catch a gold rank walleye that is a size three hook it tells us to go right here at big percy and right through there is about the right. We got number three leeches waiting for that goad to come and bite. Okay, guys, I got lucky and saw this guy swimming around close to the dock, so I just cast it out there, and here he comes. So we got ourselves, looks like a gold walleye. This is one of the last diamonds that I got actually in my main account. Makes it challenging when you only have so little time to fish at night to begin with. Nice 10 pound gold walleye. Right, we leveled up to level 20 now. We get a belt at 2.0 real looks like. 200 XP. 100 credits. I'll take all that. Reputation of 20. All right, we are on location here to catch a bronze rank smallmouth bass. Just gonna cast out in the middle, ish. All right, here we go, guys. We got a bite of something. So whatever likes eggs in this pond. Could be a large mouth, could be a small mouth. Oh, we got a bronze smallmouth right off the bat. That wasn't bad at all. There's Diamond's Peak map challenge one completed. 50 credits, got some XP out of it. There's 10 rep. Go back and see what the next challenge is. All right, we are doing Diamond's Peak map challenge two where we have to go catch a silver rank catfish. But we are right here on the map where it tells us to go. Now it doesn't track it. So you'll have to look at it, you know, like this right here. It just shows you where to put it. So put you, you know, look at this and then go back and look at your map, put a waypoint down. This is about where it wants us to stand. All right, guys, we've got a bite right here. And I'm starting to worry because I look over there now and I see that little boat dock. That might be where it wants you to go stand. Um, but we cast it out in front of it there as far as I could and laid, we did switch to a bottom feeder rod with number four cheese. So unless this is a shovel nose sturgeon, but now it would have to be a gold shovel nose sturgeon. So that wouldn't break my heart, you know. But this looks like our channel cat, so. Yeah, that's our silver channel cat. So we did switch to the bottom feeder rod. There is Diamond's Peak map challenge too. We got an achievement there. I think that might have completed all the Diamond's Peak missions for us. So the map challenges are worth the the silver map challenges are worth twenty five. The bronze map challenges are worth ten. The gold map challenges are worth thirty five. So you get seventy out of the map challenges per location said 10 missions so maybe it's not for completing all of them because we should have another mission here we should have a gold map challenge mission yeah we do what's this got a silver photo challenge that i didn't pick up at some point i guess <laughs> but there's the gold map challenge this is the one that we just now unlocked so that is a gold large mouth bass we'll get that it's starting to break daylight. We'll, we'll get some of these. Some of these I can get at any time, but anytime you have a day, uh, a nighttime one, you need to do it. You can see here, guys, we are doing Diamond's Peak Map Challenge 3. Let's try it right here. But we are using a number four popper. Or popper, and remember to twitch. We just want to cast out in that area there. I need a gold rank large mouth so I'm going to hold the control button down and twitch all right there's our first bite is this our gold large mouth let's see that was uh, cast number two looks like it looks like this is him all right guys 
gold, largemouth bass, 5.64 pounds. And you know what that means. We are one mission away from having 1,000 rip. All right, we are doing Diamond's Peak Photo Challenge 1. Now I can see the question mark popped up over there real close to us here. We'll show you the actual mission here. You can see, I could tell it was on a boat talk. I remember there's a bridge. I figured this is where it was just from looking at the picture, but that's the advantage of having played this game a lot. For people who can't remember where these spots are, it's gonna be a little more challenging. So that's the point of guides though, right? So I knew boat valet, I knew bridge, I knew a little building. So just putting two, to, two and two together, I figured it was looking across at J&D Water Mill right here. And you can just fast travel right here into Johnson's Rest and just walk out onto this and then should be able to just center. There we go. So. There's the, now we got to catch a bronze rank sturgeon. So let's look and see the hook size on that. And they are bottom feeders, I believe. Let me, let me double check on that. So we can use a number eight hook. All right, guys, I think we finally got our sturgeon to bite. Yeah. We got it on cheese, just float fishing. I tried bottom fishing and all that. Could not get a bite. Well, I kept catching catfish and all these other things so i finally i casted toward that bridge right there so i just stood where it tells you to stand right here by this and cast it as far as i could toward that bridge because i know sturgeon are mostly river fish and okay guys i just hopped in a boat and come over here i was standing on that boat dock i just assumed that it would be on that boat dock but when i came over here as soon as i docked i saw that question mark pop up so let's see there we go we got it so now we have to catch a silver rank northern pike. I wonder, is it not going to tell us to... I guess maybe it's not going to tell us to go stand over there. All right, guys. So I switched up the tactic a little bit. Casted out toward that water high synth right there. And we went with float fishing and minnow because I didn't have a number three swim bait. I didn't feel like fast traveling to bite. And then it hit me. Every time I'm fishing with minnows, I get ate up with northern pike. So we just put, uh, I did have a number three hook on me. So we switched over to a floating and put a minnow on it. And it didn't take but just a few seconds. And there it is, our silver northern pike. So that knocks that one out of the way. And we should have to go back and pick up another photo challenge. A diamond peak. There's 25 rep. All right, guys, we are here. Diamond's Peak Photo Challenge 3. We are in the middle of the day. I mean, like, it's 12 o'clock. I don't know if this is going to happen or not, but we can at least get the photo out of the way. So there we go. Catch a go drink bear bot here. Four hook liver. I'm just going to throw this out there, and I've got some. I'll tab out, and if I get a bite, I'll come back. Uh-oh. Have we caught our gold rank bear bot? During the day. I think we have, guys. All right, guys. It can be done. We just got the achievement. Golden Ridge Ranger. Max your reputation score in the Golden Ridge Reserve, baby. We just got it. We got it on the liver. Number four. That was the number four hook liver. Float fishing because they are not bottom feeders. Diamond's Peak, Photo Challenge 3. There we go. Now, it, let's look at what time it is in the day. There's the 35 rep. It is actually 11 o'clock in the morning. We caught it here. And there's the 1,000 rep, guys. Isn't that a thing of beauty right there? Guys, that is going to do it. That is all the footage for Diamond's Peak. That should be 210 reputation after watching that video. And so we'll drop the other three ones in probably over the next few days. So we'll have the other three sections of the map and you can get 210 per, per region as well. And you'll get that 1000 rep. Let me know in the comments, guys, if there's anything else you'd like to see, please remember, hit that like, subscribe, notify bell. What type of guide would you like to see next? Let's see what we've caught here. 
I was kind of getting hopeful there for a second if that was a crappie, but anyway, Silver Mountain Whitefish. All right, guys, I hope this helped you. Hope you got your 210 rep from it or whatever you were missing. Oh, we leveled up to level 25, and I think that's even bigger gear, but I don't know how much more I'll be doing on this account because that did the 1,000 rep. That was the whole point of me starting over. So, but who knows? I might need it for something else. That's where you guys come in. Let me know in the comments what type of video would you like to see next. You guys have an awesome and blessed day. My name is Darth Sloan. We will catch you next time.